Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the What's Next on Derek Chisora, former heavyweight world title challenger, um, coming off of a, a, a revenge victory over Kubrit Pulev in a very good heavyweight battle that took place on um, Saturday, July 9th on the zone. And Chisora just went for it, man. He really did. It was a good action-packed fight. It seemed like Pulev was landing a little bit more, but Chisora was landing the more meaningful shots, and it was just a really good back-and-forth fight um, for guys that age to be able to just throw that many punches and compete and go the distance is impressive. And Chisora, that was a, you know, a win to keep him one more day in the sun, so to speak, you know? Excuse me, he is a glorified gatekeeper of the heavyweight division. The guy just keeps banging around and keeps fighting and, um, you know, keeps competing. He was coming off a three-fight losing streak to uh, to Oleksandr Yusik and then back-to-back -back losses to Joseph Parker, but all competitive fights, and he was able to get revenge for an earlier loss in his career to Pulev by a split decision and he returned the favor with a split decision victory of his own. So now the big question is what's next for Derek Chisora following that win? Because obviously he deserves to be in the top 10 again with that victory over Pulev. So let's run through the top 10 and see what could be a possibility for Chisora following that win. We start with number one, the undefeated WBC champion Tyson Fury. Fury has no interest in Chisora. It doesn't mean anything for Fury to fight Chisora a third time, a guy he's already defeated two times earlier on in his career. Ch Tyson Fury's looking for probably one fight against Usyk or Joshua. That's the only fight he's interested in. I don't see that one happening. Number two is Alexander Usyk, a rematch with him, the undefeated unified champion. Not going to happen. Even if Usyk were to lose uh, to Anthony Joshua, there'd be no point. But if he beats Anthony Joshua, there's still no point in fighting Chisora again. So not going to happen. Number three, Anthony Joshua. Uh, I don't see this one. Unless, the only way I see this fight is if Joshua were to lose a close fight with Usyk. And he wanted to get right back in the mix and take on a guy like Chisora next. Then I could see the fight happening for sure. And I think it's a good one, you know, but I don't think it's going to happen next. I think Joshua's going to beat you, sick in my opinion, and push forward towards Tyson Fury. But you never know. It, it, you know, um, it could be a possibility, but I'm leaning towards the, the less likely uh, for for Joshua and, Yusuke, and Chisora to go at it. Number four is Deontay Wilder. Wilder's team has already confirmed that they're not interested in a fight with Chisora. Chisora is very interested in a fight with Wilder, but Wilder is not interested in Chisora. He's interested in, in getting the winner of Usyk and Joshua, but I think it could be a possibility once Wilder sees that he's not gonna get those two, but I think Wilder might focus on Andy Ruiz if Ruiz beats Luis Ortiz. It, it, Wilder could become the guy after Wilder sees that he's not gonna get who he wants, so he might as well fight a guy that people would favor him to knock out and shake off some rust with that win, but we'll see. Uh, number five, Dillian White. A third fight with Dillian White, I heard, is a possibility for, um, for Chisora. White's coming off the loss to Tyson Fury. Their first fight ended in a, a close decision for White, and then the second fight, White came from behind, losing on the scorecards to Chisora and brutally knocked Chisora out in the 11th round. So, a third fight, you know, hey, I don't think um, White would be disinterested, even though he's won the first two, just because it, it brings money to the table and it's not a bad matchup. So, I could see that one taking place. Number six, a third fight with Joseph Parker. Not right now. Parker's in good, good position to fight in an eliminator. He's coming off of uh, two straight wins over Chisora. This one doesn't make sense right now. Uh, number seven, Andy Ruiz Jr. As much as I'd love to see it, I don't think it's possible for a couple reasons. Ruiz, if he beats Luis Ortiz, we're probably looking at Andy Ruiz and Deontay Wilder. 
And if he loses to Luis Ortiz, I really don't think the PBC and the zone are going to get together for a fight like this. So I'm going to say no. Number eight, Luis Ortiz. I think it's possible if Luis Ortiz defeats Andy Ruiz that he would fight Derek Chisora, but the PBC and the zone would, and uh, Eddie Hearn and the zone would have to get together for this fight. And it's a tough one, you know, because Wilder's not going to be interested in a third fight with Ortiz. He's already defeated him and knocked him out twice. He'd be interested for Andrew Ruiz. He's not going to be interested for Luis Ortiz. So Ortiz, it might be looking at things like, man, I don't have a lot of options. Everybody's avoiding me. So why can't Eddie Hearn and them come together for the fight? And then you got number nine, Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce, not likely because Joe Joyce could possibly go after a rematch with Daniel Dubois or he could take on um, what's his name in a fight uh, uh, he could be lined up and fight Joseph Parker in a WBO final eliminator and then lastly is Daniel Dubois for the WBA title you know I really wouldn't be surprised if this fight goes down it's a good matchup and uh, Dubois is looking to add names to his resume and I think Chisora is a good one so um, looking at the guys in the top 10 I think Dubois makes a lot of sense next I really do and I think Dillian White, a third fight with him, make a lot of sense. But Chisora could pretty much get a lot of guys on the rise. He pretty much could land any kind of a fight outside of a title fight right now just because he looks beatable, he is beatable, but he also brings a decent name to the table. So money will come in. So we'll see what happens, but that's the what's next on former world title challenger Derek Chisora following his... Not a split decision victory over Kubrick Pulev in their rematch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing, or if you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is true boxing. You've been here with the truth.